taking over this whole social network shit. We all about making this shit pop. But um, before we was cut off, man, that's what I was saying, man. Like, I've been here before. And I walked away. And people was like, why you walk away? And I tell them, like, yo, if I stayed in that shit, yo, that shit would have fucking killed me. Because at the end of the day, man, you can have all the money in the world. You can have all the bitches, all the jewels, all the cars. It's like, at the end of the day, that shit don't make you happy, man. That shit don't make you happy. Money and all that shit can give you a good time. But having a good time doesn't necessarily make means that you're happy in me. Because at the end of the day, you got to put your head down at that pillow at night. And you got to deal with all the consequences of the shit that's been going on in your day and the shit that you're responsible for. And like, I can remember when I was a fucking teenager, when I was a fucking kid. I wanted to get into this fucking industry so bad. Like, I made up my mind that like, 19 years old like before that I wanted to be a pro wrestler I wanted to be a journalist I wanted to be all kinds of shit but like at 19 years old but my first taste of the game I don't know where I was I think it was either in I was either in a party somewhere it was either Las Vegas or St. Thomas or somewhere and I was just like on some tail crew shit I threw my hands up in the sky like a yo I'm like, this is the fuck I want to do for the rest of my life. And like, so said, so done. It's just, but after a while, that shit started to feel like it's a prison. Like, like you're trapped. Like, that shit is always on your mind, man. And it's not only the shit that you got to do. Sometimes it's the shit you got to make other people do. And like, yo, that shit doesn't rest well on conscience. Like, and even back then, I wouldn't say I was the most super religious person in the world. But at the end of the day, like, I still had some sort of morals and some sort of values. Like, now in this day and age, at the age of 30, of an enlightened mind, and I've been cultured and I've seen the world, I'm now a non-believer. I don't believe in any of that shit. I'm not mystified. You know what I'm saying? It takes a real... You gotta have balls, man. Like, this, this, this entertainment industry, it ain't pretty. And, you know... Even though I was hanging out with the fucking, the Pharrells and the Fabulouses and the Clips and, you know, all that shit, it's like, it came to a point in my personal life that I had to say, you know what, I'm just going to walk away from this shit and I'm just going to do soca music and Calypso music. And that's when I started promoting all the Island Hop artists and, you know, everything else. But even that shit, I walked away from that shit like two years ago. Because this shit ain't easy, man. This shit will make you... Blow your brains out, blow your British brains out, fucking strangle your fucking kids, Chris Benoit style and shit. But I mean, to each his own, man. Everybody out there that's chasing that dream, chase that fucking dream, man. Go hard, live it, do what the fuck you gotta do, but don't say a nigga like me who's been there twice. This is my second time around. Don't say a nigga like me and tell you so. So, Chris Lighty, I don't know what personal demons was battling, I don't know what's going on in your life, I never met you. But condolences goes out to your family and shit. And you know what I mean? Only you knows what was going on to make you do what you did. You know what I'm saying? So I just hope you can find whatever it is you was looking for in this life, man. I hope you got everything you wanted out of this life. But um, moving on. Text message, email. No, we, we, got, we got to be checking the phone. Uh, but moving on. <coughs> My man Lil Wayne, he's in the news again. Not for his fucked up body boy jeans. Not for his messed up skateboard antics. Not even for that little uh, dedication mix he dropped or that fucking Beats by Dre concert he put on in LA for Dr. Dre or whatever. But my nigga Lil Wayne is suing Quincy Jones Jr. the third. Quincy Jones the third. I don't even know if he goes by the name Jr. Quincy Jones the third is being sued by Lil Wayne over music. Over music that he used in a documentary, ironically, about Lil Wayne. Now, here's the fucked up thing. This documentary was done on Lil Wayne, which means he, cameras was rolling. So for cameras rolling to capture Lil Wayne and capture his life, that means he had to have consented. Now, I don't know somewhere shit went left. 
Lil Wayne didn't like the finished product because he said it portrayed him in a negative light or some shit like that. I don't know. But let me show you how smart these young money, cash money motherfuckers are, right? This game is so twisted and so fucked up. You approve of this guy to shoot your documentary, but you're gonna turn around and sue the motherfucker because he didn't have clearance to play your music. And this is, I'm talking about music from, this is from the, either the Carter Three album. Which album Lollipop and shit was on? A million shit. Yeah, for using songs like Lollipop and um, Amelie and Let the Beat Build and you know all that shit. This motherfucker, these motherfuckers are so smart. He got clearance for the footage, but he didn't get clearance for the music. So you're gonna turn around and sue him for damages and all sorts of other shit. And once you're, I don't know how much you people know the legal system, but if you have a product, um. Let's say, like, like, like the fucking Samsung, like the Galaxy phones. If there's a lawsuit going on, regardless if your product is done, finished, completed, or what, you can't move those units unless that lawsuit is over, or a fucking settlement is made, and the case is filed, the charges are dropped, or whatever the case may be. So, that's a smart move on those young money, cash money motherfuckers. Like, yo. Whoever their lawyers are, whoever their advisors are, they really got their heads on their shoulders because they doing some real power moves for real. If they want to stop your shit, they can literally stop your shit. So, sorry Quincy for not thinking, but I guess this time you got to take the L on this one. Hmm. Woo wee! And it's not the juice. Mm. Yeah, man, we rolling. So also, um. What we gotta talk about today? Um, I don't know how much you niggas know, but I've been on that weekend shit. Those of you guys who've been following my Instagrams knew that um, a random chick rolled up at my job, and I'm like, yo, those earrings are dope. She had like these earrings in her head that just said the weekend. And being the boss player that I am, I bought them shits out of that bitch's hair. Big me up, big me up. You gotta get some bigs up to that. So yeah, I bought I bought these earrings out of this chick's head just because they plainly said the weekend. My ears are pierced. Don't have a bitch that I think I'm gonna give them to. I don't know. You know any bitches that accept used earrings and shit? That would be like some really ratchet shit, right? I don't know, strip or shit. <laughs> but yeah, I just bought them for no reason because they say hey, the weekend that um. I've been following my nigga too. I mean, The Weeknd, The Weeknd is an artist out of Canada. I think Drake was the one that put him on, but I, I really got on to him from fucking with 2 Chainz. He, he did that track with 2 Chainz called Like Me, and um, I think he's been on tracks with Lil Wayne called Cool Love and shit like that. So I've been fucking with The Weeknd hard. But The Weeknd, and a lot of people, there's a big misconception out there. A lot of people, when they see The Weeknd, or, or, or they see his name featured on tracks or whatever, they think it's a group. Now, The weekend is not a group, it's just one nigga. One Canadian nigga. How do you think it's come up with their names? I don't even know. That, that's either here or there. But he, he ain't indie no more, man. He signed a deal, he signed a deal to Universal Republic. I don't know what, um, what the figures are like. I don't know, well, he's probably getting screwed over in one of those fucking 360 deals anyway. But, uh, shit. Nigga's gonna get his paper, Universal Republic is gonna put out um, his three previous mixtapes. I think one of them is called Thursday, and you know, I can't remember the other two, but it's guaranteed all 26 tracks are there, they say, and they're just gonna reproduce that shit, re put it out. So, I mean, that's that. Congratulations to the weekend um, for doing your thing. Looking forward to hearing an album from you sometime because you be spinning that shit. You be spinning that shit. One of my famous. One of my famous shit from the weekend is um You're tapping notes on your keyboard What you bothering me for? There's a room full of niggas Why you following me for? Why you fucking sing the song? Say no fucking sing along Cause we blowing like a C4 Cause the whole crew blowing like a C4 Cause you loving the crew 
Cause you're loving the crew. Only loving the crew. Oh shit, oh shit, what are those? Fabulous edition. Wait, what do you mean fabulous edition? Fabulous. Yo, 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 show, show, show these motherfuckers what you're looking at, man. Put these niggas up on game real quick. Yo, 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 it's not for us. It's not for us, nigga. Hey, yeah, show, show to the fuck the motherfuckers on the fucking. Uh, it's not for us. Yo, which Jordans are those? It's Educate these niggas us. about these. That other his name is not for us. Retirement Jordans. Those are retirement no, Jordans. Fabulous edition with a number four at the back. So what, what the four stand for? The nickel plated nines, nigga. Okay, okay. It's fab number. His, that's his number. What the fuck? He used to play us on that. Fabulous is that nigga who used to be rocking all those throwback jerseys and shit, right? Whatever happened to those motherfucking throwback jerseys and shit? You think them shits could, could come back in style? Yeah. But, um, so every Jordan has a number. So which number would the retirement Jordans be? That would be the names, nigga. So the number nine Jordan, it's fabulous edition. And then I like, and you, hey, you was speaking of customized shoes. Because you know Franchise is the only motherfucker down here. With the fucking Jeremy Scott wings 2.0 and shit, but you tell me, um, I has got like a customized pair of Scots or some shit like that. Oh, I has got your own shit. Oh, you, what, it, it got wings on it. Yeah, you, know, you gotta check that. I, 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 I just know what I bought it. Um, man, shit, they got his face on it or some shit. But like, look, man, my motherfucker, if you got a shoe deal, you got a shoe deal, man. You've been rocking those Adidas for a long time, like high school days and shit. So. Big up say I asked if we got a shoe deal or not, I don't know. At the end of the day, it is what it is, but um, shit is neither here nor there. So we was getting the news, man. Um, I talked about fucking Chris Lighty. I talked about Lil Wayne. I talked about The Weeknd. Oh, Jim Jones. My nigga, Jim Jones. Um, seems like Jim Jones got a movie coming out. You heard anything about that shit? No. So apparently, Jim Jones got a movie coming out. I think it's produced by some CD, CMG, or I don't know, some company or some shit. And um, this shit's called Vampire Life. It's supposed to be some sort of action adventure flick. I don't know. I hope that shit.